Hey guys, it's Melissa popping in to help you with a common issue when cutting and engraving wood with a laser and that is charring. The answer is you need air and there's two ways to get it. So I'm gonna show you. But if you look at the amount of charring that you get with the air assist and the tray, it's next to none compared to what you get when you don't use the tray and when you don't have air assist. So it is so obvious how important having air, um, not only above coming from the laser module, which is what the air assist provides, but also coming from underneath, which is what the tray allows. It's so obvious how that helps with preventing um, or limiting the scorching. So you can see that when you have no tray, when you have no tray at all and no air assist, and so essentially no air, you're getting the most scorching. Maybe not on both sides, but on uh, definitely on at least one of the sides. This is like practically burned. This one had the tray. No, excuse me. This one had no tray, so no air circulation from underneath, but we did use air assist, and so that one was actually better. This one used a combination of both, and you can see it resulted in the cleanest and uh, best result. Now, I will tell you that um, I have the Xtool S1, the Xtool P2, and around this corner, I also have the Xtool M1. They all have a different combination of how to provide air. The S1 and the M1, which are the lower uh, priced models, uh, have air assist uh, that you can add on, but it is not included with the laser itself. It has a separate uh, little air assist module that you can add on. The Xtool S1, which is the middle of the road, does not include the honeycomb tray or any type of grate to lift up and provide air from underneath. So you are literally cutting on the base unless you add on the honeycomb tray. The M1 does include a series of prisms uh, that you can use that will provide um, they, it looks kind of like a little grate, but it's all these individual pieces that you can lay into the base of the machine and air will pr be provided underneath of that. The, the P2 does not need any add-ons. It has built-in air assist as well as a built-in grate that comes with the machine. So this one is the one that's been pretty much ready to go. I will tell you, however, that they did kind of sacrifice a little bit on the air assist and I don't feel like it's quite as good as the ones that you can add on to the to the uh, M1 or the S1, but it is included. So you kind of have to decide uh, where you want to go. But whatever laser you're using, highly, highly suggest that you make sure that you have air from below and above. And I think it's pretty clear why.